Blood is essential to life, carrying oxygen, nutrients, and immune cells throughout the body. But not all blood is the same. Blood types, determined by specific molecules on the surface of red blood cells, play a crucial role in medicine, especially in transfusions, organ transplants, and even some diseases. Understanding your blood type is more than just a medical necessity. It can reveal fascinating insights about genetics, immunity, and even evolution. In this video, we'll explore the science behind blood types, how they are classified, why they matter in healthcare, and some intriguing facts that you may not have known. Right here on History of Simple Things. Blood types are determined by the presence or absence of specific antigens on red blood cells. Antigens are molecules that the immune system recognizes. The most important classification system is the ABO blood group system discovered by Carl Landsteiner in 1901. This system categorizes blood into four main types, A, B, AB, and O. Each of these types is defined by the presence or absence of two specific antigens, A and B, on the surface of red blood cells. If you have type A blood, your cells have the A antigen. Type B blood has the B antigen. Type AB has both A and B antigens, while type O has neither. The second important classification system is the RH factor which is another antigen that may or may not be present on red blood cells. If you have this antigen, you are Rh positive. If you don't, you are Rh negative. Combining the ABO system with the Rh factor gives us eight common blood types, A positive, A negative, B positive, B negative, AB positive, AB negative, O positive, and O negative. These classifications are critical in medicine because they determine compatibility for blood transfusions and organ transplants. Receiving the wrong type of blood can trigger a severe immune response, leading to life-threatening complications. In emergency situations, knowing which blood types are compatible is crucial. Here's a breakdown of which blood types can donate to others. Type O negative is the universal donor, meaning it can be given to any blood type. However, people with O negative blood can only receive O negative blood. Type O positive can donate to all positive blood types, but can only receive from O positive and O negative. Type A negative can donate to A negative and A positive, as well as AB negative and AB positive, but can only receive from A negative and O negative. Type A positive can donate to A positive and AB positive, but can receive from A positive, A negative, O positive, and O negative. Type B negative can donate to B negative and B positive, as well as AB negative and AB positive, but can only receive from B negative and O negative. Type B positive can donate to B positive and AB positive, but can receive from B positive, B negative, O positive, and O negative. Type AB negative can donate to AB negative and AB positive, but can only receive from AB negative, A negative, B negative, and O negative. Type AB positive is the universal recipient, meaning it can receive blood from any type, but can only donate to AB positive. Because of these compatibility rules, O negative blood is the most valuable in emergencies since it can be given to anyone. This is why O negative donors are encouraged to give blood regularly. Blood type is inherited from our parents, according to basic genetic principles. Each biological parent contributes one allele or gene variant for blood type. The A and B alleles are dominant, while the O allele is recessive. This means that if a person inherits an A allele from one parent and an O allele from the other, their blood type will be A. The same rule applies to type B. If someone inherits a B allele and an O allele, they will have type B blood. 
If someone inherits both an A and a B allele, they will have AB blood, as both A and B alleles are codominant. To have type O blood, a person must inherit two O alleles, one from each parent. The RH factor follows a similar inheritance pattern, with the RH positive gene being dominant over the RH negative gene. If a person inherits at least one RH positive allele, they will be RH positive. Only those who inherit two RH negative alleles will be RH negative. One of the most critical aspects of blood types is their role in blood transfusions. If a person receives blood that does not match their type, their immune system will recognize the foreign antigens as a threat and attack the transfused cells. This can cause a dangerous reaction called hemolysis, where the red blood cells are destroyed, leading to severe complications, including kidney failure, shock, and even death. That's why hospitals and blood banks carefully match donors and recipients to ensure compatibility. Blood type also plays a role in organ transplants. Just like with blood transfusions, an organ recipient's immune system may reject a transplant if the donor's blood type is incompatible. Beyond medicine and genetics, blood types have also played interesting roles in culture and history. In Japan, blood type is believed to be linked to personality traits, similar to how astrology is viewed in Western cultures. Another fascinating aspect of blood types is their rarity. For example, AB negative is the least common, making up less than 1% of the population. There is also a phenomenon known as the golden blood type, or RH null, which is one of the rarest in the world. Blood types may seem like a simple classification, but they have profound implications in medicine, genetics, and even history. Knowing your blood type is essential for medical emergencies, transfusions, and organ donations, but it can also offer intriguing insights into your health and ancestry. Whether you are donating blood, receiving a transfusion, or simply curious about your genetic background, blood types are an incredible reminder of the complexity of human biology. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.